Because I'd always thought that maybe I had an okay voice. I read in an earlier interview with you that you had an interest maybe to live in Moscow one day. What is it in that city that attracts you? Uh, mostly I wanted to be there for the, for the language, you know. Um, I've studied Russian for over 20 years and, uh, I, you know, I have a certificate in interpreting. And in order for me to keep my skills, uh, you know, at a, a nice high level, I think it would be great to live there for a while. Because I, you know, I speak German, I lived in Germany for six years, but I never got to spend uh, that, I never got to spend really any time in Russia. So I'd sort of like to do that. But how did you get connected to, to the language? What, what was it that? Um, you know, I, I, wanted to, I wanted a challenge, I think it was, you know, when I was young. Um, what time are we, to, which age were you doing? This was around 18, okay. 17, 18. And then uh, I moved to Germany when I was, I went to Germany when I was 18, I believe. And then... Um, uh, was it because of your parents moved there or you moved there by yourself? No, I just went by myself. Okay. Um, I wanted to learn, uh, you know, I was going to a German university and I stayed there for six years. Um, so I was there from like 88 to 94. Um, so it was about the time I was 19 that I moved there. What did you study in Germany? Um, translation and interpreting. Mostly translation because by the time it got to the interpreting it was just, it was a little bit, um, you know, because I had to interpret from uh, Russian into German and German into Russian. And um, I decided it was a little bit too much. Um, and I wasn't sure anymore that I wanted to become an interpreter. I just didn't know. And my mother got sick, so I went back to the States. So that was because of your mother that you, you went back? Uh, yeah, mostly. Mostly, yeah. Okay. What was it? Yeah, were you already occupied with music when in Germany, or was that uh, happening? No. I mean, I had always played the piano, mm -hmm. but I hadn't sung at all. Um, you know, growing up in church choirs and things like that, you know, I had done some singing. But uh, other than that, uh, I didn't start until 94. And, and what was it in you at that point that thought, well, hey, I have something to, that I want to bring out right now that is, was your own? Well, there had been this time when I, I had been in a practice room in Germany with a couple of guys and they were playing their instruments and uh, I started singing and, and they were very, they were like, uh, oh, maybe you should do that, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, that sort of gave me the confidence because I'd always thought that maybe I had an okay voice. You know, but I, I wasn't sure, you know, I sort of needed that little bit of, that little push, you know, a little bit of encouragement. Um, and so when I got back to the States, I started looking for people to be in a band with, and uh, I found some. <laughs> yeah, so that was the, the SARS yeah. already, so. Yeah, because, yeah, we will not maybe speak too much about it, but you did so, some work with that. Yeah. In the end, I read all of a sudden, all the members sort of left or had other plans, I don't know. Uh, well, we, we had, we, we broke up because we couldn't get along and we just didn't, um, we should never have been together, you know, in that group. It was always, you know, five people pulling in different directions. And um, so that really showed in the music, I think. The music never got to the level that it might have. I don't know, I think we were all still learning. And I guess I've been sort of a slow learner too as far as songwriting. It took me a long time to sort of find my, my voice, if you will, you know. But do you have the feeling now, looking back, back at that period, that with the Tsars you, you at least found your way? Yeah, did, did you, you had the chance to, to put everything out there that you wanted to try back then? Or were you fueled with new ideas when it sort of quit? Or were you satisfied after the period with what you've achieved musically? No, I was never happy with anything we did. Um, I didn't, I, we recorded a couple of songs that I thought were okay, but for the most part, I didn't really care for it. And I knew that we could do better, you know, and I thought that I could do better. Especially at what point did you think that could be improved? Was it somewhere? I think I always felt that way from the very beginning, you know? Still until today? Or no, 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 no. Um, well, we'll go there. But now I feel like, uh, you know, with this last record, I felt like I was able to get uh, much closer to my vision, you know?